The recent news that eight former Indian Navy officers were given the death sentence in Qatar for spying has shocked many. The officers include Captains Navtej Singh Gill, Barendra Kumar Verma, and Saurabh Vasisht, along with Commodores Amit Nagpal, Sanjeev Gupta, Purnendu Tiwari, Sugunakar Pakala, and a sailor named Ragesh. They were working for a company in Doha that trained and provided security services to Qatar's armed forces and were involved in a secretive submarine project. They were arrested in August 2022 when Qatari intelligence found evidence of a security breach. This news has upset the Indian government a lot. They didn't expect this and have said they will look into all legal options available. This situation is also making the good relations between India and Qatar a bit tense, as Qatar is in the middle of helping sort out issues between Israel and Hamas. The officers are accused of spying on Qatar's submarine project for Israel, which adds a complex angle to this issue, especially when Qatar is trying to mediate peace in the region. This isn't the first time Indian people have faced spying charges abroad. Two other cases of Kulbhushan Jadhav and Kashmir Singh from the past also caused diplomatic issues between India and other countries. These cases showed how India tries hard to protect its citizens abroad through legal and diplomatic channels. People in India and the government are really worried about this verdict. The Ministry of External Affairs has shown its shock, reflecting the worry among people in New Delhi. Though we don't have exact details of reactions on social media, there's a general concern among people. The verdict is likely to affect the friendly relations between India and Qatar. The spying charges, especially at a time when Qatar is playing a big role in sorting out regional conflicts, make the situation more complicated. The Indian government is taking steps like sending senior officials to Doha and having meetings with the detained officers to sort out this issue. As we look ahead, this verdict shows a big challenge for India. The Indian government and the sentenced officers have the option to appeal in Qatar's courts, and there's ongoing diplomatic talk with Qatari authorities. This incident might prompt a review of how legal and consular support is given to Indian people overseas. This case could also affect how India interacts with Qatar and other countries in the region, urging a more active approach in protecting Indian citizens abroad and maintaining good diplomatic relations in the Gulf region and beyond. That's all for today. If you liked the information, like and share the video, and for more informative content, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.